everybody, it's Cody Dixon RC here. So today we're going to unbox the Orlando Hunter OH32 X01 kit. This is the new 30 second scale Brock Bouncer uh, made by Orlando Orlando Hunter. I guess that's how you say it. I don't really know. It's got two O's. Orlando, Orlando. it would be Orlando, but Orlando would be, I don't know. So either way. So it is 30 second scale as you can see right there uh, it is a kit so it needs to have all electronics it does not come with anything um, it does have headlight position uh, two different places to put a, a suspension five different spots to put a motor uh, this cage is a 3d printed cage so I don't know so we'll see how it goes but uh, apparently you can paint it but so let's go ahead and open it up and look and see what you get in the kit First thing I noticed when I opened the box was it does come with metal panels that have been laser cut out. Um, these are pretty thin. Of course, you can see I can bend it pretty easy, but it's still pretty cool. That's a pretty neat little deal. Cool it comes with it. Of course, it comes with a full uh, instruction manual talks to show you how to put everything together. Um, very small. Everything is very tiny. Uh, comes with some stickers that are bigger than the car, so <laughs> I don't really know what those are for. So here's the cool thing. So this is the bouncer cage that is it my hand it's i mean it's insane how little this thing is so let's take the bouncer cage out of the package uh, see what it actually looks like feel i don't feel 3d printed i don't know it doesn't really look it either like you know it's not really that grainy uh all lines are pretty sharp uh it's not super flexible so that's good Oh, it does have little spots for headlights. You can't really tell. Yeah, let me see from the side there. Okay, so one bag, that's bag D. That is the D bag. Ha, 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 ha. It's the body. Um, C bag looks to be like shocks and other things. Look how small these pillow ball, or these ball ends are. There's the springs for the shocks. Whew, man. This thing is going to be a pain to build. Uh, it does come with a tool kit. Uh, it comes with, of course, it's all Phillips head. It looks to be like zero zero maybe. Uh, it looks to have a four and a half mil um, uh, nut driver, which that seems like a very big nut driver for such a small car. But uh, some double sided tape. Looks to have a bunch of screws in it, some nuts, uh, probably some washers in there. Uh, we got wheels and tires and foams in the package here. We'll open that up in a minute. Uh, this looks to be your axle housings. So it's that. You got a couple of brass gears for. Di I'm sure it's differential driven. I'm sure it's going to be open diff. Uh, this looks to be the rest of the shock. Or no, these are. Oh, these are your links. These are all your links. Steering link and four link and all that stuff like that. Man, this thing is going to be cool to build, but it is going to be hard to build. I think not hard, but it's going to be aggravating probably more than anything else. So let's take the wheels and tires out. Let's put them in together here. The wheels come in a Ziploc bag. Everything else comes in a bag bag. I'm hoping and praying these aren't 3D printed. Nope, they are a plastic material. Uh, that is a not a hex at all. It is a looks to be some sort of yeah. It's going to have an indention in in the shaft. So let's do tires next, foams next, and you're gonna have to glue these together, of course, because there's no way, there's probably no bead locks on the market, but these are a pin style tire. Uh, I don't know what size they are, it does not say, it just says rock crawler on them. Foams are almost as big as the tire, so we'll go ahead and shove them in there. They are they are almost as big as the tire itself that's crazy like that shove the well these are gonna be these are gonna be fun to dig on glue up I'm sure without making a mess or let them stick to your finger Ooh, I pulled out one side There they are. They are the size 
of a Hellfire waterproofing. They are the same size as the bottom of the bottle. That's to give you a size reference of that. So there you have it. Uh, we have unboxed the Orlando Hunter Bouncer Kit. Uh, I plan to do a build on this. Um, don't know how I'm going to do it yet. I'm, I'm trying out this angle of a video so I can at least show you parts of this because this is so tiny it's going to be hard to build and not. And if I did it from the top, you would miss out on things probably, I would guess. Um, I don't know. It's hard to tell how this is going to go. So I'll give it a shot. I'm going to try and build this thing uh, coming up here soon. I think this would be pretty cool. Of course, as soon as I ordered these and got these in, I do have these in stock, by the way. They're like $73 or $74. I got two left, I think. Um, as soon as I come out with this, or, or as soon as I got these coming, they, they released a kit to come with all electronics, even a battery and a charger. It comes with everything. Remote, uh, ESC, servo, the whole deal. It comes with every single piece you need to run this truck to build it and then run it. So... I figured that would happen. Uh, I guess I'll get, if you guys want to get this kit and build it, I'd be fine. I, I plan to get some of the kits with the electronics as well sometime soon. So, um, pretty neat. It's a neat little kit. I think the kit with all the electronics is $140 or so. I don't think it's that much more than this. This kit's what, 73 So yeah, it's about $70 more for all the stuff that you get with the electronics and things. I think it even has like a light kit too, maybe? Or maybe the the con receiver's a light kit controller, like I think it'll control some lights or something. This one's being fun to put on. It keeps releasing itself from the other side. Dang it. Did it again. Did it again. I'm using too much pressure. That's gonna be my biggest downfall with this thing here is trying to build and not break something trying to put it together because it is quite the booger here to do. It's not super bad, but it's not super easy either. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it, and uh, stay tuned, and we'll build this thing. i got to get up enough nerve and time to sit there and film and build this thing, because it's going to be... It's probably not going to be hard. It's going to be more aggravating than anything else because of the size. I think it's going to be my problem with my big old fat fingers so there they are in this and relative to the body so it won't be too bad so alrighty, thanks for watching everybody i appreciate it and we'll see you next time